Hi guys, welcome back to the next image of the day, the 10 p.m. ritual. I hope you are also following the morning 8 o'clock sessions on the YouTube channel, which are the quick 5 MCQ boost. So morning 8 and evening 10. These are the two time stamps or timelines that you have to remember for the day for this YouTube series. Well, without wasting even another second, let's begin. It's a very easy image that I've got for you, which is a previous year question that we got in the NEET PG exam as well as in the FMG exam. And that's a classical, I've given you a good hint also over here. This is a flea-bitten kidney. How do you identify flea-bitten kidney? So first and foremost, you will be given a specimen of a kidney. And you will see these, it, you know, some people call it angry looking kidney because you see these reddish spots on it. These reddish spots are nothing but pinpoint hemorrhages. So first and foremost, reddish, reddish spots are pinpoint hemorrhages. And I think they're very, very clear out here. So actually, why not just discuss all the things that can show you a flea-bitten kidney? Why not finish our mnemonic? So why not convert the IOTD into a mnemonic of the day also? So flea-bitten kidney, the mnemonic is we hate PSM. Well, we shouldn't because all of you now know that PSM got you a lot of questions in FMG as well as in NEET and in INICET. So PSM is definitely becoming tougher and more important as the day passes. But well, we obviously don't like the subject too much. That's our mnemonic. We hate PSM. So V stands for Wegener's granulomatosis. H stands for HSP, Hinox Schonland Perfura. And HUSTTP. I hope you know HUSTTP belong to the, you know, it's the same spectrum of disorders, hemolytic uremic syndrome, as well as thrombotic thrombocytopenic purpura. So HSP, Hinox Schonland purpura, HUS and TTP. Then P for post-streptococcal glomerulonephritis, PSGN. S for subacute bacterial endocarditis and SLE. So subacute bacterial endocarditis and SLE. And M for malignant hypertension. So remember V, Wegener's, H, HSP, HUS, TTP, P for PSGN, S for SABE, subacute bacterial endocarditis and SLE, M for malignant hypertension. Well, you know that the image and the mnemonic is not going to end without a homework. So all of you know that PSGN in very rare cases can also advance and become rapidly progressive glomerulonephritis. So first, you know, all the kidney disorders, they can become advanced and they can progress rapidly. Clinically, the deterioration can happen very pro uh, rapidly. The patient may deteriorate. So RPGN can happen. So can RPGN also show you flea-bitten kidney? Yes, PSGN changing to RPGN can show you flea-bitten kidney. Well, that's not your homework. Your homework is PSGN shows you which type of RPGN, RPGN 1, 2 or 3. And that is what you need to type in the chat below and let me know which type of RPGN. So that's your homework of the day with which the IOTD is done. So see you all tomorrow morning 8 o'clock for the quick 5 MCQ discussion that we are going to carry out on the YouTube channel. And uh, then... 8 and 10, you know the timestamps that I've already told you to remember. Thanks a lot. Good night. See you tomorrow.